Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a word problem using my acronym, Rude. So, first step is R, to read. So, let's start with the first question. You have four red marbles, five blue marbles, and eight yellow marbles. What are the chances of picking a red marble in a box of only red and yellow marbles? Alright, so now that we've read the question, we can move on to the next step, which is to you. Underline. So basically, in the question, we're just going to underline any part that we find relevant and that we think we might use when trying to find an answer. So we can underline four red marbles, five blue marbles, eight yellow marbles, since we're trying to find how many red marbles, this is relevant, and the amount in the box is determined by how many, which is red and yellow. Alright, so now that we've underlined what we think is relevant, let's go to D, determine. So basically, now that we have the information, we're going to determine what parts of it is relevant and how we're going to use it to find the answer. So, as you can see in the question, we're being asked, what are the chances of picking a red marble out of a box of only red and yellow? So, using that, we can cross out this information since the amount of blue marbles is not relevant. So, in order to solve the question, we can create a fraction. In the numerator, we can put the amount of red marbles because that's what we're trying to find, which is four. And in the denominator, we can put how many are in total in the box, which is the amount of red and yellow, which is four and eight. And now, after you have this, we can move on to the last step, which is E, to evaluate. And basically, we're just going to um, do out the uh, equation we've created, so which is four, four plus eight is 12, and then we can simplify this to one over three. And there you have it. All right, so now that we've done the first question, we can go on to the next one. So using my acronym, read, let's first read the question. You go to a baseball game and want to buy some food. A hamburger costs $1.50 more than a hot dog. You buy two hamburgers and one hot dog. Your total is $15. What is the cost of one hot dog? So this question is a little bit lengthy. There's a lot of information involved. So in order to kind of uh, help you try and see what information is relevant, let's try and underline. So what do we think is relevant? A hamburger costs more than a hot dog. You only buy two hamburgers, one hot dog, and your total is 15. So let's go into the next step, which is to determine. Uh, we're going to determine how we're going to use this information uh, in order to find the answer. So this one is a little bit tricky. We might have to use a little bit of algebra in this. So uh, in this question, we can um, create a variable, let's say b, which um, represents the hamburger, and um, h for the hot dog. So basically, we can write this sentence by creating an equation such as B equals H plus 1.5. And this basically means that a hot dog is um, $1.50 less than a hamburger, which we can see in the question. And in order to kind of find the total, uh, we can use this information by creating this equation. So 15 equals the cost of a hot dog plus, since we're buying two hamburgers, we're going to the two here and the amount of burgers. But since we know what B equals, we can just plug this in into B, which is H plus 1.5. And we have it, the equation. And finally, last step is to evaluate. And basically, we're just going to uh, do out the equation, which you get 15 equals H plus, we're going to move the 2 to H. And then again, because it's a parentheses, you multiply 1.5 with 2. And then we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That gives us 12 equals h plus 2h. Since they have the same variable, we're going to add them together. That gives us 3h. And basically, we're going to divide by 3 at the end. And finally, that gives us h equals 4. So with that, we know that the cost of one hot dog is equal to four dollars. And then you have this for read and U is for underline, D is for determine, E is for evaluate.